content on Hulu right now, particularly, you know, basically because of that, because you have to, because the cable operators are paying a lot to have those networks and those programs on cable, so that's why we're able to put more broadcast content rather than cable on the networks now. So I think that you can all just as equally look at TV Everywhere as an opportunity that if we can figure out a way, um, if, I, if through authentication we can figure out a way um, to protect the dual revenue stream, you can then free up more content to be online. Um, so it could, it, it could very easily relate it, uh, lead to more content being available through Hulu rather than less. So I don't think it's a you know, empire gatekeeper issue, but um, it's much more just, um, I, I think, a reality that if for premium content, there needs to be business models to support that. I don't think consumers want to watch five times as many ads in order to get, the, you know, in order to get that content. So, um, you know, as my fellow panelists are, have been saying, that um, <coughs> oftentimes some combination of subscription or payment, along with an advertising model, is is what makes sense. But I think it's really early days in, in figuring all of this out, and you'll see a lot of experimentation before we settle into the business models that make the most sense for everybody. Okay. Yeah, you may, and I think we're more likely to see a lot of success stories. In other words, I think what we're going to likely to see, you know, because we're now in a connected world where hundreds of millions of people, you know, shortly billions of people arguably will be genuinely connected. I think that, you know, when bandwidth goes away as a gating factor, mm -hmm. and memory goes away as a gating factor, and certainly processor capability has gone away as a gating mm -hmm. factor. At that moment, I think what happens is, you know, subscription, you know, 5 million, 10 million subscribers is a lot of subscribers. You could make a lot of money, and so suddenly it may in fact be that, I mean, anyone who's used Apple TV knows what an extraordinarily easy and mm -hmm. you know, pleasant experience Roku it is. as well. Yeah. Right, and people are buying, you know, full seasons of old TV series mm -hmm. because it's just easy to do. And it's, you know, it's $25 and for a certain segment of the population, that is not, you know, that money. You know, money is friction too. That's not a gating factor, right? In other words, it, it's worth it not to have to think about it, not to have to figure out how to download it, not to have to figure out where to find it otherwise. And you're lying in bed and you've got Apple TV, you know, you buy a, a season of some show you never saw, but that your friends told you about. I think the, the missing piece going forward is not which of these models works, because I completely agree that there is always going to be an advertiser-supported model, right? Because there has to be, right? And anyone, I think anyone who thinks that advertisers are not going to drive future business models is very naive. Um, because as successful as I think subscriptions will be, the advertisers will nevertheless find a way to weasel their way into the subscription model because they want to be in front of those people marketing other shit, right? Um, and so, forgive me, forgive me. Um, um, uh, but I do think that it's discovery, I don't, the thing I don't want to gloss over, yeah, the thing I don't want to gloss over though is this discovery concept. I think that mm -hmm. the challenge going forward is still, you know, don't tell me what I want. Google does it, an extraordinary job, as do the other search engines, but really Google does an extraordinary job of helping me find exactly what I want, right? And it's getting better and better at it all the time, and I'm getting better and better at it the more I use it. I think in the future what I'd like is for someone, something, to tell me what I need to know before I realize it. And that's something I'll really put value on, the editorial or curation piece of, you know, navigating this ridiculous amount of connectivity, mm -hmm. that's where the real big win. I think there's a Google-like success.